Okay, let's see what happens. Uh, more horsemen. That one's gonna go for Harden, isn't it? Yeah, and from the forest. So that's not good for Harden. Eesh. Harden's getting low on HP. Oh, he does a lot of damage. Does he hit twice? Oh, Harden, can you kill him? There you go, Harden. At least you got a kill. Oh, wow, they can move really far. Yeah, um, hmm. I, I suppose I could check exactly what their movement is and if we can escape them in time, but I'm not sure if I should. Or if I should just stand by and let them attack us, attack back, get them out of the way. Minerva's getting closer. She's caught up surprisingly fast considering those Pegasus Knights moved at least a turn before her. Alright, Marth is gonna use a rapier on that guy because there's another rapier we can buy at the store. Oh, and a critical hit! Hmm. It's always so satisfying. Uh, Kane has taken a bit of damage. Oh, wow, they really positioned it perfectly so that we cannot reach that guy just yet. That's unfortunate. Um, hmm. We need to move Julian as far as he possibly can go. Whether or not we block off the other archers, that depends on their movement. What's this guy's movement? Five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, they can't reach him, so there's really no need to no need to block them off. In that case, let's just start killing them. I'm pretty sure Kane Kane can handle it. He's got a steel sword. He's got you know a lot of HP, and this one's gonna be dead. So he's only getting attacked by two people at most, and one of them might go for Marth instead. And Marth can handle it for sure. So I, I see nothing wrong with his plan. That's a not a, lot, not a good thing to say. Fear. If you really have bad luck. Uh, what's this guy's movement? Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so they can reach. Uh, they can reach here. So let's move Caesar right here, where it's safe. Let's put George just out of the range, and let's put Bantu... Hmm, shoot... Bantu's got a lot of defense. We could have him... You know what, no, let's not take the risk. And then everyone else over here needs to get moving and fight those... Actually, Harden's gonna hurt. Uh, Harden... Uh, why don't you just hang out in forests for the rest of the, uh, the, the level? Abel, you can scout on ahead. You're gonna have to buy another steel sword, probably, though. Violent, I don't know why you're here, but go on ahead. Actually, I know why you're here, because if we had, like, Gordon or Caster or someone who couldn't move a lot, they would be slacking back there and wouldn't be able to escape the, uh, Dragon Knights. Alright, end the turn. That's everyone. Ma -da -da. Here comes another horseman. Okay, we got two to deal with. These ones can't reach anybody, unless they have a javelin. I didn't consider that. Okay, they don't, so they're just asking to die, essentially. They're like, hey, here we are. We're not going to attack you. We're just going to stand right next to your sniper. Uh, that Pegasus Knight further south might be a bit of an issue. They might be able to reach George if George attempts to attack the, uh... Ow. If George attacks the, uh... The Dragon Knights up ahead. Also, one of them's going for, uh, Marth, and the other one went for... Kane, so they're really not thinking that through, are they? Oh, Minerva didn't move. Thank you. Well, we want Marth to move as far as he can, so how about Marth, you get out of there. Actually, no, Marth. It's only one space back, so Marth, take care of that guy right there. There you go.
go. And then... Kane doesn't have, like, a key or a lockpick or anything, so there's no problem with him going back and dealing with the situation. And if he doesn't kill him, it's not a big deal. We have other guys that can move in. But I'd expect he'd at least hurt him. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> oh, yes, and we got a silver bow. We can give that to George in a little bit. Alright, Julian, get going. Merrick, get going. Lena needs to get out of there. Uh, that's not good. Uh, actually, you know what? You know what? I have a perfect idea. Caesar, get back and protect Lena. George, just hang out right there. And Bantu, right there. So this way, they can only attack Bantu, who is really defensive overall. Like, does it say here? Uh, I don't know if that actually applies. There's no way his power is only 2 when he does 16 twice, or 10 twice, even. So I don't know how accurate that those stats are, but I know for a fact that Bantu can take a hit well, especially if it's just iron weapons. Uh, and then these horsemen shouldn't be a problem. We can have Jagan take care of the top one with the Silver Lance. Actually, I probably shouldn't have put him there because now there's a perfect opportunity from the mood to move the, to the forest and attack him from a safe area. Oh, he's got a javelin. Ah, uh, missing is the one issue we can have in this kind of situation. Jagan's getting close to leveling up. Missing is the only thing that can go wrong in this case. So, Abel, please do not miss. Abel, why are you doing this to me? 1 HP, alright. Uh, I am very curious. Violent can reach. Is there anyone else there? There is no one else there. There is no way that this guy at half HP with a javelin can kill Violent in one hit. And actually, you know what? Harden, can you reach that guy? Yeah. And I bet Sheeta can too. Nope. Well, you know what? Oh. Uh, but they can't both reach him because he's to the side. So... Violent, it is time for you to prove yourself as the one and true strongest man who works under the Lord Harden. Good job, you did two damage. Yay. Uh, oh, actually, should I even move Harden in now, because he's only got 9 HP? Let's well, actually not. Let's not move Harden too far in, and instead, Violent can handle a Javelin thrown at him. It's not a big deal. Uh, let's end the turn. Everything's good. Everything's looking good so far. So some of those flying units might actually come after this group instead. Yeah, he's going for Violent. That's okay. Nice. And it was only one hit too, so there's no way that would have killed. Wow, they didn't even attack. They're just standing there in front of our sniper. What are they thinking? I guess George can just do his thing then. This is the wall. We have a dragon, a sniper, and a wall surrounding us so they can't get past him. That is how we will defend this castle. Uh, you know what? We just picked up a silver bow and we're gonna have it traded to you. Why don't you take care of this guy with the silver bow? Silver bow. Almost, almost a level up, yeah. Uh, who got the silver bow earlier? It was, uh, Kane, so we can give that to, uh, and hand that off to George. And uh, Marth and Julian need to head up to where Maria is being kept, and that'll be a second. And then over here, how much HP does this guy have? He has 12. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think if there's any way we can give this to Violent. Well, Violent's also close to leveling up. 
So let's just have him attack him normally. If he kills, great. If he doesn't, he'll still get enough XP to level up, probably. Wow. One damage each, huh, Violent? Hmm. Two XP. Never mind, he didn't get enough. Um. Wasn't expecting that. Alright, Sheeta. Go ahead and get that level up. thought in my head, surely if we missed that, he would miss that, but no. Oh, wow. He's down to 1 HP, huh? Okay, give it to Ogma, I guess. Actually, Jagan was just, like, at the tip of leveling up. We can give it to him. Even though his level ups are terrible. Plus, Ogma's already much higher level than Jagan. Power! Cool! What a great level up. Uh, Abel, why don't you stand on that fortress to keep it guarded? We're gonna have Harden move there in a sec so he can regain his health without using any items. Okay, enemy turn. Okay, now they're attacking Bantu. That's just a regular Grunian Dragon Knight. That's not a... that's not Minerva. Alright, nice. Actually, if those stats don't truly apply to Bantu's Dragon form, which I think is the case, because there's no way he's that weak. If that's the case, then... Do level ups even change his stats at all? Or at least in dragon form? Or do they just change his stats in the overworld, which don't really matter? I'm a little confused by that, but I don't know. We'll figure that out later. Maybe his stats really are just that bad, and I'm just giving him way too much credit. I don't know. George, go ahead and... Actually, that one's already hurt. Just use a steel bow. Oh. Okay. There we are. It's a level up for George. A power, a defense, and that's it. Um. Jagan. Actually, who stood on that right now? Abel's back to full health. Actually, before you go, why don't you buy another steel sword? Looks like you can't hold, hold anymore. Oh, hold on. What items does he have? He's holding on to a vulnerary. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, Ogma, go this way. Abel, go with him. I suppose that Steel Sword can do. There's an armory next chapter as well, so it's not a big deal if we don't buy too much in this chapter. Although I would buy, at least like to buy some magic for Merrick to use. And, uh... Actually, no, that store doesn't have any magic. I would at least like to buy... Something, I don't know what. I suppose we can also visit those houses for some advice. And then this group right here doesn't really need to move. So let's just end the turn there. Oh, this one's throwing a javelin at George. That's actually a really bad move because he's gonna attack back. Yeah, why are you doing that? I guess just to whittle him down a little bit. And that one didn't even attack. Minerva's doing nothing still. Alright, Julian, can you reach the door? Yes, he can. There we go. Use that. And go ahead and talk to Maria. Oh, so you're Prince Marth? He's quite handsome. Thanks for rescuing me. Please tell Big Sister I'm safe. Also, I will help you from now on, okay? Okay, and now we have Maria. Oh, she already comes with a, uh, uh, a living staff. Never mind. We don't need to trade it then. Um, in that case, I suppose... Yeah, there's really not much else we need to do this chapter. Let's just, uh... Let's have... George take care of this Pegasus Knight. 
Actually, there is one other objective we want to do before we head for the boss. Also, that level up got George nothing. So you get nothing! You lose! Good day, sir! There's one other objective I want to take care of before we head to the boss, aside from, of course, talking to Minerva, and that is over here we have a hero, which is, as I said, is the upgraded class for the mercenary, right here. And, uh, it doesn't say it anywhere on his person, but he's actually carrying the item that promotes heroes above level 10 to, or er, promotes mercenaries to heroes. So that's useful. Harden, why don't you go ahead and buy another sword? You only have one. Actually, more importantly, we should buy Violent an actual steel sword instead of just the iron one. She, uh, see what's at the house. The Thunder Sword. Who wields it can pierce heavy armors. Actually, now, now that I think about it, yeah, that is what is in the, uh, that's what's in the, uh, chest, or at least one of them. There are three great sages, Archbishop Maroa, Darkness, er, Darkness King Garnif, and the legendary Archsage Gato. But Miroa's dead now. Alright, well, aren't you super happy? Violent will buy a, a, a sword next turn. These guys can just move out of the way and hang out for the rest of the level. I suppose Kane can head towards the. Uh, actually, I have nothing for Kane to do. Let's just end the, end the turn and move on. Is the hero going to move, though? Yes, he is. There he goes. He's going for, uh, who is that? That's Abel. One damage. Oh, boy. <laughs> and we hit twice. Aw, oh, that would have been amazing. Actually, we could probably have Ogma finish him off. Though I don't know if I want to take that risk. Do I want to take that risk? Because, firstly, we would have to move Abel out of the way. Which would mean he couldn't rescue him if something goes bad and no one else is there. But he's at full health, he's level 12. This guy's level 1. We could do it. Let's do it. This way we won't have to trade items in a turn either. Use the steel sword. This guy's only got... How much... It is at 6 or 5, 5 or 6 HP. There you go, Agma. Get that kill. Can you level up? Oh, so close! But we did get the hero badge, or the hero crest as it is in later games, but... Ah, uh, maybe we should level him up before we use that, because if... So here's how promoting units in this game works. You use it, and then you become the next class. But the thing is, is that... All the level ups go... or they reset, you go back to level 1. Which doesn't take away any stats, in fact, it usually adds, adds a bunch of stats because you up your class. But, unfortunately... All the level ups you could have potentially gotten while you were still the lower level go away and you can't get them anymore. So for example, in some instances you would want to wait to use the promotional item until you reach level 20. The absolute most levels you can get is 20 levels with the first uh, class and then 20 levels with the promotion, which is why pre-promotes like Jagan or George don't exactly have as much potential with their stats. Uh, so sometimes it's preferable to level a unit up before using the promotional item. I'm, not, I'm definitely not going to be doing it the whole way for Ogma. I want to use it this chapter, but I definitely want to get him leveled up before the end of it, and there is an armor unit up there we can easily probably kill with him. Um... The chests are still just hanging out there. Let's just keep ending the turn until Marth can get to uh, Minerva. We want to grab those chests. The Thunder Sword is important. 